Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name's Steve, that's Howie. And you join us on a really damp, miserable day today. It's just stopped raining, but there's quite a lot of mist in the air and it's still a little bit drizzly. But uh, the reason I've come to this particular woodland today is called Denny Wood. Uh, Denny Wood campsite, just beyond there in the new forest is because I had a picture pop up on my phone from this day in history you know look you get those google apps that tell you you took a picture however many years ago and uh, this one popped up about seven years ago I looked at it and it quite intrigued me um I used to do a lot of mountain biking back then so this would be one of the places I come and obviously I took some pictures on that day seven years ago I thought well I haven't been there for a long long time I'll uh, pop back out here and have a look and uh, here we are and uh, I'm quite happy that I've turned up here actually it's nice to get out as well obviously after all that Christmas food um, nice to get a bit of fresh air do a little bit of exploring as well it might be a bit of a damp muggy day or murky day sorry but still quite happy that I turned up here N I've no idea Howie get out of there you get freezing cold before we started no idea what I'm going to photograph today so uh, I'm just going to play it by ear colours are well, what should we say they're quite dark we have got some lovely like electric greens going on in some of the branches which could stand out quite well and also all the ferns have turned a real dark chocolatey orange real rich colours they are so that might help if not I'll probably just go black and white so I'm going to have a wander up here, see what we can get. See you in a minute. So I've just walked through the woodland now and just to the edge of the woodland we're at now so uh, just beyond me is a lot of um, heathland and a lot of floods so luckily I'm wearing my wellies so I should be able to get through all that quite well today but I've come across my first composition and I'll just show you on the back of the camera so this is it on the back of my camera I'm not quite sure I've got two options I can go quite wide but I think we're gonna have a lot of dead space in the image where it's just white behind there's no interest at all and then we start to lose some of the detail and some of the trees that are right in the middle there so by coming in a bit shall we say about there we've got the one two trees that jot off to the left and the right and then we've got the two in the center which give it a little bit of an anchorage point um, we've got let me see if I can come out a little bit a little fallen log right in the middle there. I'm not quite sure if that's gonna be in, in the image or not but I'll be taking fifth of a second f11 ISO 100 I've got two options I can either go black and white or I can go color like it is at the moment I'll uh, have to find out when I get home as to what I think would would suit the image shall we say if this is going to be a good idea or not it is absolutely flooded on this great big plain behind me um, the river it's meant to be just here it's meant to run under this bridge and out through the other side but as you walk around here onto the main path you can see the river has just burst all its banks and it is just an entire flood zone it's like oh half a foot deep so you have to be really careful of uh, I'll put the bag down 
what lenses I'll use. I think I'm gonna have to be using um, zoom lenses for these ones. I won't be able to get close enough to any of the trees in order to get pictures. You can see everywhere around me, it's just flooded and it goes on for miles and miles and miles. So I'm gonna try and find individual trees on their own. See if we can get them with my uh, 18 to 140. Probably be shooting a lot at 140 mil today just so we can actually get these uh, trees in without getting too close to them. Because this place is absolutely flooded. So I had to abandon that idea of uh, going onto the heathland. It was absolutely so deep with water, it's over two foot in some places, and I don't really want to carry all my gear across somewhere like that and then get stuck. So I don't want to go to plan B, which is woodland photography. I've oh, got something on there, that's it. Don't want to go to plan B, bit of woodland photography. I'd rather stick to what I want to do, and that's try and get some of these heathlands in. So I've decided just to walk all the way around the edge of the Heathland until I can find somewhere where I can just basically drop down into and uh, see if we can get some images. So, as you can see now, we're just at the edge again, but the minute you start walking out past about a foot or two, it just turns into whoa, just too dangerous. So, I'm gonna have to try and stick just to the edge here and uh, see if we can get some images. This is really, really difficult. Quite frustrating, because you just want to get out there. You just can't, it's too dangerous. So uh, I'll set up and see if I can, oh God. See if I can get some images just from the edge. Right, conditions are absolutely crazy. Can't go beyond about five foot behind me here. I want to get some images of possibly some of those um, scotch pines behind me so i'm going to be doing it handheld uh thousandth of a second just because i'm handheld in it um i say 400 get a little bit more light in and f5.6 open the aperture up a bit let a bit more light in and that way possibly i could get some images handheld normally used to doing it with a tripod but it goes for nothing Right, just taking some of them. I'm gonna put them up now for you. Fingers crossed they turn out good. I'll call it a day now. It's been uh, challenging to say the least. Um, plans for today, go out onto that heathland there. It's been absolutely flooded, so that's no a no-go. So I've had to stick to the edges of the forest all the way around. And uh, I've done some handheld shots, as you saw. Hopefully they'll come out well. It's uh, a little bit of a shame that I couldn't get out there, but it's made me more determined maybe, maybe to come out next time. Um, when it, when it hasn't rained for a few days, shall we say, and then it'll be a lot drier and we can get out there and I can do a video of that actual location where I want to be. But um, it is what it is. And uh, if you have liked today's video, please like and subscribe. Until next time, see ya.